Thanks to the power of modern communication, we have the ability to create technologies that are decentralized, removing middlemen and allowing users to interact with each other directly through a global network. Decentralized applications have been becoming more and more important in the past 10 years and have the benefits of massively reducing costs and barriers to entry, removing single points of failure, preventing censorship, and ensuring transparency and trust between all the parties involved in an interaction. BitTorrent, a file sharing network developed in the early 2000s, is arguably the first decentralized application to have been created. BitTorrent allows anyone to share any kind of file with anyone else in the world, allowing people to distribute content quickly and easily, even if they do not have the resources to pay for their own website or server. Five years later, Satoshi Nakamoto came up with the idea of a blockchain, a sort of distributed database, and used it to build Bitcoin, the world's first decentralized currency. Decentralized currencies like Bitcoin allow people to send money instantly anywhere around the world with no regard for national borders with negligible fees. Bitcoin is increasingly being used for international remittances, micropayments, and commerce online. Uh, decentralized applications for finance, uh, cloud computing, mes messaging, and distributed governance are soon to come. Ethereum is a platform that is specifically designed for people to build these kinds of decentralized applications, or dApps for short. The Ethereum client, which we are calling the Ether browser, will include a built-in peer-to-peer network for sending messages, and a generalized blockchain with a built-in programming language, allowing people to use the blockchain for any kind of decentralized application that they want to create. Ethereum can be used to build financial applications that are fully trustworthy and transparent because they run on the blockchain. Online, cryptographically secure systems for managing your property and contracts. Social networking and messaging systems that allow users to maintain control of their own data. Systems for trading underutilized computational resources like CPU time and hard drive space. And eventually tools for online voting and distributed governance. And the most exciting applications of Ethereum are probably the ones that we have not even thought of. As with all new platforms for innovation, like the protocols that underlie the internet itself, it is not always easy to predict what they're going to be used for. Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the modern internet as a whole are all a result of uh, early developments in the World Wide Web and JavaScript, the programming language of the World Wide Web from the 1990s. Similarly, by providing a universal programmable blockchain and packaging it up into a client that anyone can use, the Ethereum project hopes to do the same for finance, peer-to-peer -peer commerce, distributed governance, and human collaboration as a whole. Now the question is, what will you build on top of Ethereum?